Hello everyone, welcome. It's Barb Reed, the Wexford Stamper, and I'm here for another Wednesday evening video. I hope everyone is doing well. Hello, hello from cloudy South Carolina. Little cloudy, we had a little bit of rain, but it's nice and cool in the 80s for the rest of the week. So we're pretty excited about that. That is like fall in South Carolina. So we're really excited. Hi, Mary and leo if you stay put oh stay awake hi ann and deb and kathy and mary hello joanne nice to see you i'm not seeing my um uh messages up here on the on my ipad so i'm gonna have to look up to the side a little bit to see messages so if you see me look over there that's what i'm doing and so Hello, welcome. Tonight, as, if, as you know, if you read over the information, we are going to be, um, oops, no, wait, there we go. We're going to be um, using the All About Autumn Suite and making some more pretty autumn projects. Hey, Jean, you made it. Oh, I hope you do. I love it. That's my hope for all the projects that you're going to love them. Of course. Oh, you got your pouch. Excellent, Mary. I hope you love that as well. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get started. I've got loads of peeps here waiting to go. So let's talk a little bit about our project first. We are going to be making this card this evening, and this uses the All About Autumn paper, which sadly is not available now, but will be available shortly, and I'll keep you um, posted on that. And this is a book binding card. I've made this before, mostly with the, this hinged part to the left, but I thought it would be a great idea to try it on top. And that's what I went with. And I'm using this really pretty, um, this is Moody Mauve. It's a new color um, with the refresh of the colors. And it has a little bit of the foil, the copper foiling in there. So I thought that would be a perfect paper to use. And of course, hey, it wouldn't be a Barb Reed Facebook Live if we weren't making a, a 3D item, right you guys? So this is what we're gonna be making this evening. Such cute little die cut leaves. I just love this. And I'll talk a little bit more about what's inside here, but let's first talk a little more specifically about all the products that come in this All About Autumn suite. We have this lovely photopolymer stamp set. It's got some nice leaf designs and veins that you can double stamp and put the veins on the inside. I know, that's why, um, Jean. I, I just had to buy a bunch for my um, kits and I'm glad I jumped in and did it quickly because it was gone in a day. So um, I was very fortunate to get that. But yes, it is gorgeous paper. So we do some two um, layer stamping with this if you'd like to put in the veins. And then here is the um, die cut set that comes with it. So we have the die cuts that are cutting out the veins and the large um, leaf leaves, but then we also have some smaller die cuts that you just can use independently of stamps and have lots of cute little leaves patterns there. All right, and this is the paper that Jean was talking about. Amazing, it's gorgeous. There's several sheets that have like photographic, is photographic paper, and it has beautiful scenes from the fall it has pumpkins and beautiful fall scenery and leaves, and it even has some books and some leather and some dried leaves. Just really, really pretty. But then you flip it over and it uses the colors from the suite and then um, has a little bit of the copper foiling on those pages. And that's the, the paper that we're gonna use this evening. And then there are some cute little embellishments, these little speckled, adhesive dots in the colors for the suite. Really, really pretty, as well as the ribbon. They have a ribbon pack with the thicker um, natural ribbon and then the, the thinner 
that is a copper ribbon very shiny and pretty so oh amazing beautiful beautiful stuff so yes so that's what we're gonna be working on today. And as you know, there will be a PDF available on my blog as soon as we finish up this evening. And you can go to my blog at, finding the right button, thewexfordstamper.blogspot.com. You can find this and ev all my other projects there. And if you click on the blog post, and just scroll down a little bit, you will see the video as well as a link for the PDF. So that is available for all projects. And if there, for any reason you might have a question about anything, you can always contact me um, through Facebook, whatever works for you. Okay, so let's put this aside for now. And we're gonna bring in our projects again. First thing we're gonna do is work on this little treat box. Howdy, Renee. Nice to see y'all down up there. I'm going to use my Southern Drawl tonight. I haven't really gotten one yet, but hey. So this is our box for this evening, and it has a belly band, which I always love. And then you just open it up, and out comes a cute little pumpkin brownie. Perfect for the time of year. So we're going to slide that right into the box. And then we just close the flap down and slide our belly band. Belly bands are great if you don't feel like tying a ribbon around it, you don't feel like putting a, using a little piece of um, Velcro to close it or a magnet, belly bands are awesome. So had been a while since I used belly bands. So this is what we're gonna work on. And these are the brownies. These are available in any grocery store, Target, Dollar General, you name it, okay? These are available and very inexpensive, less than 50 cents a brownie. So a really cute, adorable gift you don't have to spend a lot of money on. Okay, you are very welcome on those PDFs. I'm glad you guys like them. They help me too, because I've always been kind of a, um, I need it written down in front of me, you know, rather than listening and watching. I like to have it down in front of me so that I can um, more carefully look at all the um, measurements. All right, let's put the card aside for now and we're gonna focus on our box. All right, let me get the pumpkin brownies away here before I eat them all. And the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna bring in a piece of um, Moody Mauve cardstock. This is a brand new color, gorgeous color really really great for the fall season and you'll notice that the paper here that i'm going to be using on both projects here is moody mauve as well but has that beautiful copper foiling inside not inside but on it and on the back of this we have the regular paper the photographic paper and this is a piece of with the kind of the weathered wood so um it's just really, really pretty. So I know I hadn't used the Moody Mauve in any of my projects so far, so I thought that would be a good one to do for today. All right, my piece of paper here is, and I'm just checking, is four and a quarter by five and a half. Yes, just wanted to check so I wasn't using the paper for the card and getting a, mess, a messed up box. All right, and I'm gonna grab my cute little template here and remember this will be available on the PDF as well so you can kind of see once you remove all the excess um, card stock with your snips what it will look like but let's go ahead and bring in our trimmer trimmer and score and we're gonna go ahead and start on the long side okay the long side I'm gonna go ahead and grab my bone folder we're gonna go at two and a quarter three and one eighth, five and three eighths, six and a quarter. Let me go ahead and grab that quick. Six and a quarter. All right, 
Oops, don't take that away yet, Barb. Now on the short side, we're going to be at 7 eighths. And since it's 7 eighths, I'm going to go to the right side of the channel. It's easier to see and easier to score. That's 7 eighths. And then the next one is going to be 4 and 5 eighths. Five eights. Hope everybody's doing well. We are settling in nicely here in South in South Carolina. All right, so I have all my scoring done. I'm going to go ahead and keep my bone folder and carefully fold and crease on all my score lines. Has anybody put in a an order yet? for some goodies and what have you bought? What are some things that you are really loving? Let me know. All right, so that's done with that. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab a snips now. Okay, now remember here is our template. So I'm gonna be taking this in the portrait position with the two thinner panels at the top, okay? So let's go ahead and on this top portion, I'm gonna turn it towards me. I'm, why don't I do that this way then? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and work on the panel end first that has the two thinner, um, two, two thinner panels. I'm gonna go to the first, on the right, the first vertical score line, cut up two horizontal score lines. Then we're going to cut off that bottom square. And then this one is going to create our tab. Okay. And that tab is going to fold over once we put our brownie inside. Same thing from the left. First vertical score line up through two horizontals cut off that bottom square, and then create your flap. Okay, now the bottom, let's turn it, turn it this way. These are gonna be much more simple and what you're kind of used to for boxes. You're just gonna snip up to the first horizontal score line on both these lines and then make it into a little flap. Let's turn it this way, same thing. And now we've got a match. Very simple stamping, I mean very simple cutting for a box. Okay, just a little tricky here because these flaps kind of face a different way. They kind of go up and these go out. So just be careful when you're putting it together that you think about that. All right, let's put away our template and bring in our goodies for the box. Okay, we're gonna take a piece of paper, the DSP that I was talking about. This is in the Moody Mauve and it has the gorgeous um, copper foil in it. And we're gonna place that on this, this um, panel down here because it's gonna, once the box is put together, that's gonna be on the front. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my glue. I am excited to get started. I'm, once I get these um, this kit out, uh, my next two kits are going to be Christmas cards. And I've actually already designed the Christmas cards really super excited to share them and um, so I will be launching those boxes probably next week the end of next week I'm hoping to get the ones out this week there was a little bit of a hold up with some of my materials so I didn't get it out quite when I want to but it's gonna get out soon all right so I have that one covered with the paper then we're gonna go to the side that has the two um, thinner panels, and then I'm going to place that on there. Okay, so that's all we need to do, and now all we're going to do is go ahead and um, put the box together. Now these 
tabs up here do not get any glue on them, so don't put glue on those tabs. We're just gonna put the glue on these tabs here. Okay, now I am going to go ahead and glue these tabs to the back section of the box. And I'll explain why in a little bit. So you're going to fold that down and you're going to line up the fold with the edge of the um, side that's connected to the back section of the box. So it's this part here that we didn't put any of the paper on. Same thing on this side. We're going to, oops, get that out of there. We're going to fold it down and then line up the edge with the fold. Okay, so we got the back of the box ready. Now we're going to fold this part down in the front and over. Okay, so we need to put some glue on the outside panels that are next to the front panel. Okay, I'm going to fold that and then I'm just going to go ahead and squeeze both sides. And that's how quickly your box comes together. Let me get my bone folder so I can get in there and make sure that's going to stay. That's the box. It's almost like, a. remember when we used to have cassettes, ladies? This is almost the size of a cassette tape box. A little smaller, but it's that kind of a, a design. All right, let me grab one of these. They get five brownies in a, in a box, and it's... Really, it's just over $2 for a box. So we're gonna go ahead and put the pumpkin brownie right inside the box, close the box, and then the flip, the uh, flap comes right over the front. All right, now we're ready to make the belly band. Let me grab my paper here. And this is the belly band. And the size of the belly band is one and a half by seven and a half. Okay, now some Demos will show you where to score so that you can get it to wrap around snugly. I just think that's kind of hard. And I don't like hard when I'm when I am doing my stamping. So what I do is I put the belly band down on my work surface and I lay my box right in the center like that. Okay? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my tear and tape because this, this is one of my favorites for holding belly bands together. Many people like to use it for um, box making. I kind of like to use glue, but um, hey, whatever works for you. I'm gonna go ahead and use the um, tear and tape for that. So on the top, you're going to put a piece on this side, and then on the bottom, you wanna turn it over and put a piece like that there so that you have it gluing together on the front. All right, let's go ahead and bring this in as we were before. We're gonna fold it around the box. So we're just gonna go up and make just a little bit of a fold so you know where that is. And then you're gonna come across the top and you take your finger and kind of rub along there. And that kind of tells the paper where each of those corners are that it's going to be making. Same thing on the bottom. Up, keeping your box nice and straight, and up. Then I'm going to take my box away. I'm going to grab my bone folder again, and I'm going to give these folds a nice crease. So they'll look very nice and neat and clean when we put the belly band together. Okay, and it gives you a chance if your belly band's a little off, you can slide a little bit because you always want your um, strip to line up. There we go. So there we go. There's our belly band ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this in. I'm going to grab my pick tool and take off. Strips. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're just going to bring it up and around to the front. 
and you don't have to worry that that line is there. If you look there, you can see the line where it overlaps because our embellishment that we're gonna put on the front is going to um, cover that up. So no worries on that. So, okay, next, let's go ahead and grab our next item. How about we do a little bit of stamping? Oh, where did I put my stamp set? I forgot to get my stamps out. That's okay, we can still work this out. Grateful, thankful. I'm gonna get my Moody Moth. I know I have lots of patient stampers waiting for me. Let's see, I'm gonna grab my Moody Moth. Okay, just when you think you have it all figured out and you're prepared, huh? Okay, let's, for this one we need the I Am Thankful and we're going to use this, um, let me get my, this is, this strip is 5 eighths inches. Okay, I'm going to be using the I'm Thankful sentiment. I'm going to go ahead and stamp that using my Moody Mauve. There we go. Put that over there for now. And what I did with this one, I just did a diagonal, just for grins. If you like it straight and the corners nice and square, you do you, okay? But I was going for something a little different. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, I, I kind of felt the vibe of the cursive writing, I guess. And I kind of followed along with that. Maybe that's it. That's what I'm going with my theory. Okay, so I have that ready to go. Then I'm gonna bring in some other things that I've already cut out and are ready to go. Look at these leaves. Can these be any cuter? These are the die cut leaves. Now I've used um, crushed curry and I've used pumpkin pie and the moody mauve, but they're just adorable. They would be so cute, just kind of sprinkled on a on a uh, little area where you have some decorations and things. They're just so cute. I also cut out a two inch circle and then I use some of the copper, okay, the copper, deoxidized copper. It's an extra pack of paper that comes with this. You can kind of see what it looks like. I use that as my scallop. And I am doing a really bad job explaining that. Let me grab my book. Because I didn't really talk about this at the beginning. Okay, this is all the materials that come with the um, suite. This is the one that I didn't show you a picture of, didn't talk about. This is the deoxidized copper 12 by 12 specialty paper. Okay, so you, it's in pretty peacock and then, and in copper, and then it has the copper foiling over it and you get four sheets for $8. So very pretty. Another way you can add a little bit of shine to something. So that was one that I had forgot to mention. So that was the oxidized. So that's what this is. Let me show you a little closer if I can. Not sure I can really show the shine off that good. But it's a little weathered and it just fits with the, with the suite. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go put some glue on the back of the two inch circle and place that layered right onto my scallop. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and take my I'm Thankful and place that right across the center using some dimensionals. Here we go, we're gonna put that right across the, mid the middle. There we 
are. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and add some of the leaves. Okay, and they're all gonna need a little dimensional on the back. You might need to cut with that tiny leaf. Okay, so this one I'm gonna put right, kind of tuck the stem beneath and just put it like that. Then I'm gonna take this tiny guy and I'm just gonna use the edge of the um, dimensionals and just cut off a tiny piece because you know I'm gonna use every inch of these dimensionals, but they're great for the smaller pieces, especially if you put it in the middle of the piece. There we go. And I'm gonna take that backing off and that I'm gonna just place like that. Okay, so I'm just kind of making a little arrangement of the leaves on the front little embellishment. And then lastly, our cute little oak leaf. Somebody helped me last week and told me that was an oak leaf. So there you have it. Isn't that pretty? So simple to put together. And now we're going to grab the dimensionals one more time, grab three of them, and we're gonna put them right on the front of the box, just like that. Okay, I can grab my pick tool and remove the backings on these. And then we're going to add the belly band embellishment. There you go. Isn't that so pretty? This would be great for like a little place setting if you wanna um, make something for a Halloween event. I remember when my girls were um, younger, we always had the pilgrim, I mean, not for a fall event, Thanksgiving. We always had the pilgrim meals that we had to go to and things. This would be a really cute little gift, a uh, little table favor. So that's how easy that comes together. Super, super easy. All right, thank you, Renee. Now we're gonna move on to the little book binding card, and this is real easy as well. Okay, so this card opens at the top, and it has a one and a quarter inch hinge on it. Okay, so when you open it, your inside insert is only gonna be four by four instead of the usual size. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with that. And what I did is I cut a piece of the Moody Maw. This time I had to cut it, yuck. This time I had to cut it at four and a quarter by 11, okay? Then I scored it at five and a half and six and three quarters, okay? Then you're gonna go ahead, first thing you're gonna do is take your glue and glue down that little hinge that you created. So you just put it on that small area between the center score line and the other score line, and then you just push it down like that, and then you create your book binding card just like that. Real simple, okay? Then you're gonna grab your pieces of designer series paper here. Let me check my notes here so I can tell you what the sizes are. Um, four by four and four by one are the sizes of the paper. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on the back of this piece. And this is gonna go right in the larger panel on the front. And then this piece is going to go on the top. Oh, you did! Yes, and they taste good too. You know, you think, oh, they're cheap. They probably don't taste good. No, they are good brownies. They are Reed family approved. So there you go. So there is your card front before starting any of your embellishing. Isn't that just gorgeous? Very, very pretty. Okay, now I did some pretty simple um, decorating, but let's go ahead and do our stamping first. On the card, this card, I'm going to put with a grateful heart, and that is from the Autumn Leaves stamp set that comes with the suite. 
and I'm going to grab my Moody Mauve again. And I'm going to stamp that right on here. This, let me give you the um, strip. I know I have it written in my notes, but this one is three quarters of an inch. Okay, three quarters of an inch strip. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp on there. Okay. And I'm going to make my little flag on the side. Now, the way I do that with just my snips, I'm going to snip here to get started, just giving myself maybe half to a three quarters of an inch there. Oh, yes, I, ha I taste test all little Debbie's. So let me know if you have any questions about any of those. Okay, I'm going to snip in there like that. And then I'm going to snip from the bottom and the top corners to create the little flag. And there is your cute little sentiment. Now let's go ahead and put on here the other parts before we get to finish off with my sentiment. Okay, I cut out first a circle using the layering circle dies, and let me measure this, the size of this one. This is a one, I'm sorry, two and three eighths inch circle of Moody Mauve. Okay, and that we're gonna put right down here in the right hand bottom corner. Okay, so let's go ahead and place that right there in the corner. All right, next what I did is I took a piece of that gorgeous deoxidized copper specialty paper that we talked about before, and I cut out two things. I cut out a leaf, and then I cut out the little veins. Now, I don't think I've shown you one of these cut out, but this is the veins for the leaf cut out. Okay, now I cut them in the same color, so they're not gonna stand out that way, but just to have the difference in, you know, the texture and the depth, you're gonna be able to see some dimension on the card. So before I attach the leaf to the card, I'm gonna go ahead and attach the veins to my leaf. And I'm not gonna go real crazy with the glue. It's a really skinny little vein. And you really don't wanna put any glue down on this part because that is the stem. And that doesn't really glue to anything. If you put it on there, it would glue to your workspace. So, And then I'm just gonna gently press it down on my leaf. And there, that will give your leaf a little bit of texture, make it look very realistic. I think that's just very pretty. You could also put a black, black use your basic black for the veins whatever, whatever you feel. But yeah, really the veins really make them look really realistic. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the leaf and I'm just gonna adhere it flat down onto that circle in kind of a um, diagonal manner, okay? So just a tiny bit of glue with the stem facing into the corner I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down, just like that. All right, now we're ready for our sentiment. And that is gonna go right up about here. All right, gonna need dimensionals for that. Hey, yeah, I know Kathy was on there. I thought Kathy just jumped on, but you've been on all the whole time. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna place this about halfway up the leaf, like that. So you can see a little bit on top and on bottom. And I'm gonna bring in a crushed curry little maple leaf, just like I used with the box. I'm gonna grab one more dimensional, and I'm just going to place that on the front of the card, like that. All right, last but not least, a little piece of the black baker's twine. We're gonna place a little black bow. I chose black so it would stick out a little bit and we'd be able to see it. I'm gonna go ahead and get my glue dots. 
and I'm going to place the, the bow right onto the glue dot so that the knot of the, dot, the bow is right on the glue dot. Take my pick tool and go under the glue dot to pick up everything, hopefully. Yes, it worked. And then I'm going to go ahead and just place it here on the left-hand side of the sentiment. And that's it. How's that look? Really, really cute, huh? I know, I know. I was like, where can I put it so it'll still show? But yes, it is awful to have to find a place to cover the beautiful paper. All right, so there you have it. Oops, let me finish up one more thing that I forgot. You're gonna wanna go ahead and grab a four by four inch piece of the very vanilla and that is going to be your insert for your card. Almost forgot that. It's a little different size just because of the book binding design that we made tonight. Okay, and that goes right there, and there you have it. So that would be a great little surprise on somebody's desk or in their mailbox during the fall season. So I hope you love that project and we'll give it a try and if you do please let me know by posting it on the VIP page I'd love to see um, your versions of your project so that is all for this evening I am hoping to do one more fall uh, project next week and then believe it or not I'll be starting on the Christmas projects so also be looking out in the next couple of weeks. I'll be doing a, a unboxing of the next two Christmas card kits. So it's pretty exciting. I've got them both done and you'll get a, if you buy both of the Christmas kits, you get a special handmade gift from me. So keep on the lookout for that. I will be posting an event when I do the unboxing. So keep an eye on Facebook for that. All right. Yes, it was great to view your name too, Kathy. I miss you guys. I hope everybody's doing well up in Pennsylvania. So I will see you again next Wednesday. And until then, happy stamping. Bye-bye.